So if you've been following me online, you probably already know that I run a seven-figure e-commerce store over at BumblebeeLemons.com. But recently, I also started an e-commerce store with my kids over at KidInCharge.com. And for this store, my kids wanted to use their own money to launch the store, so we wanted to launch it for as little money as possible. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how my kids and I launched this WooCommerce store called KidInCharge.com for less than $3 per month. All right, so this tutorial is going to start over at my blog, over at MyWifeQuitterJob.com. And what I want you to do is to scroll down and click on this Bluehost button. Now, Bluehost is the web host that I recommend to host WordPress and WooCommerce stores, and it is extremely inexpensive. And I've actually negotiated a special deal so that you can sign up for Bluehost for less than $3 per month. All right, so I'm just gonna click right here, and I'm gonna click on Get Started. Now, since we're trying to launch this e-commerce store for as little money as possible, I'm gonna select the basic plan. Now, this basic plan is probably good until your website hits about 10,000 visitors per month, and below this visitor account, this Bluehost base account is more than enough. All right, so I'm just gonna select this account. And what's cool about Bluehost is that they give you a free domain upon sign up. So I'm just gonna pick a domain called wooexample.com and click next. All right, and I'm just gonna fill in my contact information here and sign up. And I'm gonna select the cheapest plan here. And then I'm gonna uncheck all of these items. You do not need to be paying for any of these things. And then I'm just gonna enter in my credit card number and sign up. Now, what is cool about Bluehost is that they will automatically install WordPress for you. And WooCommerce is based on WordPress, so this is a step that you'd have to do anyways. And Bluehost does this for you by kicking on the create account button. All right, so I'm just gonna pick a password here, and I'm gonna create my account. All right, I'm gonna click on login, and I'm gonna log in here. All right, so I'm gonna just name my site Woo Example. How to install WooCommerce, and I want a blog, and I want an online store. And what's cool is Bluehost is gonna automatically install and activate WooCommerce for you. So just select any arbitrary things here. All right, and then next it's gonna ask you to install a theme. So what's cool is Bluehost has a selection of themes for you to choose from. So since we're running an e-commerce store, I'm just gonna choose an e-commerce theme here. So I'm just going to choose this one. All right, and then at this point, Bluehost will install the WordPress, install WooCommerce, and install the theme all in one shot. So you don't really have to know anything technical at all. Okay, and so the unfortunate part about signing up is there's gonna be all sorts of upsells and you just wanna turn them all off. Okay. All right, and so this is what the Bluehost backend looks like. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to launch our site here. Okay, and at this point, your WooCommerce store has been installed. And at this point, you can take a look at your site and you can click on WordPress to go into the back end of your site. Okay, and as you can see, WooCommerce has already been installed and everything is pretty much ready to go for you in terms of just website installation. And what you want to do in the back end is to run the setup wizard. All right, so there's a number of questions it's going to ask you. And I'm just going to just type in some things here. And click on let's go. And it'll ask you if you want to set these services up. In a video right after this, I'm going to show you how to set up the payment processor for WooCommerce. So for now, uh, what you can do is just uncheck these. Select them, but uncheck them. And once again, as I mentioned before, in a subsequent video, I'll show you exactly how to set up payment processing. It'll ask you how much you wanna charge for shipping. And I'm just gonna put $5 flat rate. And I'm actually going to unclick all of these. Um, these are features that you can actually install on your own. And I'm gonna skip Jetpack as well. 
And that is pretty much it. At this point, you can actually create a product. So I'm just gonna create a product called test product. This is a test product. I'm gonna set the price at $17.99. This is a test product for sale. And I'm gonna add a product image. Let's see if I have something on my desktop I can use as a product image here. All right. Set product image. And then I'm gonna hit publish. All right, so at this point, we've created a product and we can just click on this link here to take a look at what the product looks like. And as you can see here, this is the product that we just created. And at this point, actually, your shopping cart is fully featured. You can actually add this item to the cart. You can actually view your cart and you can actually check out. Now we haven't set up payment processing yet, which is gonna be covered in a subsequent video. But as you can see here, your website is already fully functional and ready to take orders. Now there's one last thing we need to fix before we can actually start accepting payments online. And that is to actually make this website secure. As you can see here, there's no padlock here, which basically means that it is not secure and we have to make this website secure. So what you wanna do is you wanna go back to your dashboard and what you wanna do is you wanna go under plugins and add new and you wanna do a search for SSL and you'll see a plugin called Really Simple SSL. And you wanna install this and you wanna activate it and then you wanna click on go ahead, activate SSL. And at this point, it should be activated, but there's actually one last step that you have to do in Bluehost, which is to go back to the Bluehost home, under my sites, under manage site, under settings, and you wanna make sure your site is https wooexample.com. Uh, prior to installing the plugin, it was http colon slash slash, and you just wanna make sure it's https colon slash slash. And once that is done, you can go ahead and view your site and you'll notice that your website now has the padlock and it is in fact secure. All right, and you can just browse around. The product that we created is still there. You'll notice that every single page is secure. All right, and so that's all there is to it. In under 10 minutes, you can have a fully featured WooCommerce store that is fully secure and you can start adding products and you are ready to go. And you do not have to have any technical knowledge whatsoever. So I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial. And I just want to let you know that there's a lot more where that came from over at mywifequitterjob.com slash free, where you can sign up for my free six day mini course on how to start a profitable e-commerce store. I will teach you everything that I have done to create a seven figure online store. So thank you for listening and I hope you check out the free mini course.